Hi guys, today's video is going to be a split routine. I have actually already done one of these, but I wanted to make one that was more aimed at beginners. So people that are kind of just starting out learning their splits or people who struggle a lot with their flexibility. We're gonna get straight into it, but always remember with stretching, consistency is key. So if you would like to get results, you need to be doing this consistently throughout the week, not just like once. First up, you're gonna sit just like this and it looks a bit funny. All we're gonna do is rock over to one side and then back. And you're just gonna kind of briefly pause at the side of each one. When I do this, I really feel it down the back of my leg. It's just to loosen up our legs and hips a little bit. Good job. Keep going, only a few more. Good, and then you're gonna hold it over to one side. You want your knee to be in line with your hip and you're just gonna lean forwards onto your elbows. Try and keep your back nice and straight. If you can't get your elbows to the floor, you can just stay right here, that's fine too. We're just gonna hold it here for a few seconds. If you can't feel it, then maybe try and twist around a little bit or go lower or just move around until you find somewhere that's tight and then hold it there. And we're gonna swap sides, so exactly the same on the other side. Make sure you see what your ankle in line with your knee and then your knee in line with your hip. You might have one side that you find tighter than the other one. My, I definitely do. This is my tighter side for this. Okay, then we are gonna just go into a quick butterfly, push your knees down to the floor as far as you can with your elbows. Try and keep your back nice and straight. Good, and then we're gonna go to a standing straddle. So you're gonna stand up and then you're just gonna reach up and go just as far as you can. If you can't touch the floor yet, just hold it there. If you can touch the floor, then go all the way down. Hopefully you can feel a nice stretch down the back of your legs. Then we're going to fold our arms and we're just going to swing side to side, nice and slowly. And we're going to hold it on one side, so hold it over to one leg. If you're still like this, that is absolutely fine. Just go as far as you can. Good, and swap sides. Awesome. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is laying down on your back. So you can lay straight down. All you're going to do is pick up one leg. You're going to link your hands or put your hands underneath your knee. Well, kind of on your thigh. And then all you're going to do is just slowly straighten it with a flex foot. You're going to point at the top and then bend. So straighten. The train just went past you're wondering what that noise is and if this is too hard just change the angle so you can go out a little bit if not you can keep it exactly where it is and we're just going to do this a few times this is called sciatic nerve flossing and i really like doing this one Good, and we're gonna do one more. Awesome, and then just swap legs. Keep going. 
welcome. Nice and slow. And two more. All done for that one. Okay, this next one looks a little bit funny. So there are two options. I don't know why I just held up number one. Two options. So you're gonna stand up and this is the harder option. I'll show you first and then there's an easier option. So you're gonna put your feet together and you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna see if you can put your palms underneath your feet so you look like this <laughs> and then all you're going to do is just go down and then slowly bend up and you should feel that or well, I certainly do if that's too hard you can hold on to your ankles and just go as far as you can and we'll just spend a little bit of time on this so you don't need to go fast just control it about three more. Fabulous, that is that one done. Next up we are going to a lunge. So pick which leg you'd like to go on first. I always do my least favourite leg first because that way I make sure that I don't do my favourite leg and then go, oh, not going to do the other one today. But pick whatever leg you want. Now we're just going to lunge straight forwards and hopefully you can really feel that opening up your hip and we're just going to hold it there. One of the best tips for stretching if you're just getting into it is for splits especially, holding your stretches, your static stretches for over 30 seconds I find gets results a lot better than just holding it for like 15 so the longer you can hold something, the better. And you'll actually find that over time, throughout holding the stretch, it will actually start to become easier because you'll start to relax once your brain actually realizes that you want to be there and not just going, why are you doing this to me? What's going on? Also, then you're gonna go into a reverse lunge. You're gonna straighten that front leg and lean backwards. If you can already feel it, you're just going to hold it there. If you can't feel it, you can try and lean forward slightly onto that leg, but make sure you're focusing on lengthening your leg rather than like hunching over. Okay, so we're going to hold it here a few more seconds, but I'm just going to explain the next one whilst we're holding it. So the next one we're going to do is just kind of going back and forth through the two stretches we've just done. So you're going to go into your lunge and then back to the reverse lunge. When you get to the reverse lunge, you can flex that foot as well for an extra stretch. You can keep your hands on the floor if you prefer. Good, and then go back to that lunge. And all you're gonna do is put the opposite arm to the um, hand that's on the floor. So same arm as leg that is forwards. It's gonna go behind your head and just twist into it to get a bit of a deeper stretch in your hip. Good, and back to that reverse lunge. Okay, we are now going to do our splits. So let me run and grab two yoga blocks. If you have pillows at home, then pillows are better for this, but I don't have any here, so I'm gonna go grab some blocks. Okay, here are my blocks. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you this forwards actually, so you can see it a little bit better. If you've got pillows, I recommend putting the side, starting kind of in that reverse lunge, 
and then slowly you can put your hands on something and slowly slide down see so like you can help take some of the weight off if you need to or if it's easy you can just hold it there but go as far as you can and just keep breathing nice deep breaths and don't give up and don't worry if you're literally like here that is completely fine hold it wherever you can 10 more seconds Five, four, three, two, and one. Great work. My sock fell off. Okay, now we're gonna do the other leg. So go into that lunge. When you do your lunges, you wanna make sure that your ankle is in line with your knee. and reverse you can flex that foot if you want to but if not just leave it there and just like the other side if it's too hard to lean forwards you can literally just hold it there no problem go whatever's right for you Once you kind of find the stretches that you really like to do, I recommend also like watching TV whilst you stretch because it can help to kind of distract you sometimes. And it's something that I really like to do. But definitely when I stretch, I really like to sometimes do it to follow along routines just because then I know it's gonna make me actually do it. Okay, we're now gonna go back and forth from our lunge to our reverse lunge few times. When you do this, try and keep your hips in line, so like try not to twist them as you move. Good, and go back to that lunge. And then you're gonna put the same arm up that foot is forwards and you're just gonna twist. Great, and then you can grab your pillows or your blocks again. And it is time for the other leg. So start higher if you need to, and then slowly slide and stop wherever you need to stop. And just hold it there. It's really good to make sure you practice on both sides as well. So even though it could be tempting to only do one side, make sure you always do both sides. Over halfway. Keep holding. Breathe. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. And you can come out and give your legs a big shake. You're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would be so, so grateful if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and maybe subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this. And I hope you guys achieve your splits and get closer towards your goals.